Hey guys, how's it going? It's a lovely sunny, sunny afternoon here in uh, the Waikato. Um, yeah, it's cool. Um, got my banner, got a mean banner. Woo! I've got lots more of these. I've got lots more of these. Uh, this is just the start of what's going in my new shed that I'm going to build um, over that way. And um, so I'm just in our attached garage at the moment. So the, the water pumps in here, so that may go from time to time. I apologize for that. Uh, it's just the way life's gonna be in, for the next few months until I get my shed built. But and then we'll be out there. Um, I've got two of these banners lined up and then I've got five, three, three or four meter still banners as well. Um, <coughs> so yeah, there's it's, it's, it's a lot of cool things happening it's just work in progress and uh yeah and it's been busy on lifestyle block um on, on our ten thousand squares here at um our new place uh which is very cool I like being busy so i've been up early um been cranking it for most of the day i've been doing a lot of scrub cutting gorse clearing and things like that um which brings me to what i want to show you i have a new toy i have a new toy it's really cool and oh, I'm really, really stoked about it because new toys are always good to get. Like if you, if you love saws and things with motors and things like that, then then when you get a new toy that's got a motor on it and it's two stroke and it's just it's just so good. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at it. All right. So here it is. My new toy. It's a professional, professional uh, scrub cutter. It's the FS450. So it's not brand new. Bought it off a guy up in Auckland, but um, it's pretty cool. It's mint as runs really well. Uh, so you have to you have to have a harness to run these, and they clip in, they clip in down there. Harness clips in. And uh, they're about 43 or 45 cc. It's just set up for a trimmer line at the moment. Set up for trimmer line, but you can run things like I've got in here. What I'm using on the gorse, it came with all this stuff, um, but it can run those sort of blades. This this new blade came with it as well, and um, this is what I've been using on the gorse, cutting scrub cutting the gorse. Heaps of fun doing that. Heaps of fun. So that's my new toy. SF FS, sorry, 450. Mean as. Big boy toy. She is a full on grunter. Great tool. And then I mow, I'll be mowing the lawn, the strip over there with it as well. And everything. Just scrub cutting that because that was all getting really long. But yeah, this is this is sort of my shed at the moment anyway. Um, this is where I'm where I'm sort of got to work with. Most of my tools are in a corner over there. Um, half of the garage has got our washing machine and dryer and our little chest freezer. Still having unpacked boxes and stuff like that. So that's all happening. And um, that's a FS85, um, that's a mate's trimmer, that one. Or brush cutter, it's got a brush cutter attachment there as well. But yeah, so that's, this is sort of where I'm relegated to at the moment. So I'm just trying to make it a little bit more cooler with a, um, yeah, there's a bench is a mess, but with a steel banner on there. Um, over here you can see the harness for the FS450 scrub cutter, wear that. My chaps down there. This is coming really handy for working on the scrub cutter. So I was almost going to sell this helmet because I was I got my climbing helmet now for um for arb work. But yeah, um yeah. So I'm got even like camping gear up there and stuff like that. But it's all good. It's all good. It'll um. It's it's actually bigger than what I had before my little shed. <laughs> So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool that it's bigger. Um, 
but yeah, uh, that's about all I've been doing. Scrub cutting, um, people have been coming to visit us, we're trying to unpack the house, um, organising quotes for the shed to get built. So I'm going to build the shed, so I'm getting a kit set, um, but still going to cost up around that 20k mark. So there'll be a concrete floor and it's a pole shed. So it's so going to be about uh, nine by six meters long. So nine meters, nine meters long, six meters wide. Um, yeah, uh, it's going to be really, really cool. A really cool space. So I'm going to have um, uh, over there. I've got thicknesses, buzzers, um, a sucking machine, my parts washer. I've got all that stuff just jammed in the corner. I've got actually a. a um, my buzzer is still to come here, but I've got a thickness, I've got a linisher, like a big sanding table. Uh, all that stuff is, is, is just sitting there waiting to be used and, and move into the new shed, which is going to go over there where my ute's parked at the moment. <coughs> so, yeah, it's, it's all happening. This is going to take a while. Um, what, I've been, what have I been doing saw-wise? I actually haven't been working on saws. I've been too busy trying to do everything else. But I have been using saws, um, as you can probably see, the, the 460, MS 460, that's been having some punishment. It's got its new 20 inch bar on it, just a little bar. I wanted to buy a little bar for this, just, just for some fun, you know. Uh, so I bought a, a br brand new 20 inch for it with its um, full chis chain, and it just loves it. It just absolutely eats wood. So good. I'll have to, I have, there's so much. There's so much content, there's so much content going on that I, that I need, I don't have time to film, I would love to film it, I'll try to film what I can, I want to try and get some scrub cutting in so you can see something different on the channel, a bit, bit more stuff on the, on the section now on the land as we progress, maybe a bit of fencing so you guys can mock how I do fencing and stuff like that, because um, I'm not a fencer, and uh, <coughs> um, yeah, actually a little azito has been getting thrashed as well. This thing has been getting thrashed because I'm just doing little little tidy up jobs here and there around the property trimming stuff. I put a rope swing up for my boys up in the pines up the top of the hill there. And uh, yeah, that was cool. Um, what else has been going on? Just been tidying up the shed today. Um, put in a tap off the mains, mains pressure line. Um, that comes in for the trickle feed for the tanks, the water tanks, because we're on pump here. And um, and then I pretty much we had some guests last night, so I um, spent time tidying up the yard and doing a bit of mowing and scrub cutting and stuff like that. Just stuff, you know, just usual stuff. Um, but yeah, we, we've got a lot of ground to cover. Got our fences to go in so we can get the, the beef in. Um, Get a couple of beefies for the freezer. Um, so yeah, a couple of cows. Um, yeah, there's there's so much to do, so much work, but I'm loving every single minute of it. Like, I mean, it's sort of I don't you know when people say, oh, I just bought my dream property or I just bought this house and it's my dream house and stuff like that, like. I don't know if this is my dream house, you know, and it's not even, you know, it's not even as bling as some people's houses, it's not even cool as some people's houses, you know, big houses they've got, stuff like that, but, like, I think, if I could say this is my dream house, I think maybe, maybe it is, I don't really know what that looks like, but, like, I've got a big patch of land, or big enough for me anyway to handle, because I work full time, and, um, I've got a house that's like only six years old and it's got everything we need like inside inside we've got uh, that came with the house um, I don't know why I buzz out about this but it's got like a movie room like it's a, it's our second lounge but we mainly watch movies in there because it's got a big projector that slides down from the ceiling and um, hook up the surround sound and watch movies on there that you know my two lads absolutely love that um, I mean, they love being outside too. They've never been outside so much as when, as, you know, as moving here. So, 
Yeah, it's, there's so, many, so much good things. So if I could say, is this my dream house? I don't know what my dream house looks like. But if I had to say, you know, have I bought my dream house? Maybe, I think maybe, I think maybe I have. And it's a, it's a cool feeling. And um, that dream house didn't cost millions and millions and millions of dollars or anything like that. I don't have that kind of money. But um, it was enough. We had to push for it. But yeah, we're here now and, and um, we can grow. We can do what we want to the property. Like none of the landscaping has been done on it. Or virtually nothing. So there's just a ton of stuff we can do um, and enjoy and build and grow here. The boys can be outside and, you know, they they, um, they got the real estate agent sign from the sale of the house and they um, slide down the grass bank out the back on it and stuff like that. And, you know, they're in the pool. There's a little, they got a little padding pool they just filled up and they're out there now and they climb up and down the banks on ropes and and just just all that cool stuff that's 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 happening is just it's absolutely awesome absolutely awesome and um, my wife's loving it she's loving being out in the garden we're going to get her a greenhouse so she can she loves propagating all the trees and everything like that she wants a bigger orchard than what's there it's a young orchard we just there's a few young fruit trees out there we're gonna you know they'll keep growing and provide food for us as well I don't know how far down the track of um, you know, being self-contained, is that the right word? Self-reliant? Self-reliant? I don't know how far down that track we're going to go. But we're going to be able to produce food on this land to um, to help us cut down grocery bills maybe and just live better, have better quality meat. So we're not relying on supermarkets for their, their absolute average meat at premium prices. Um, <coughs> yeah. So it's just, it's just, it's just awesome. It's just a whole change for us, a whole way of, a different way of thinking. We're still getting used to it. Um, we're still finding our feet with it. Because we've only been here a month. That's it. I think it was a month yesterday or something like that. So yeah, there's just, there's so much going on. There's a lot going on, and it's really cool. I just wanted to share some of that with you. Uh, there is still more sort of stuff coming, as I said in the last video. Um, yeah yeah there's more coming there's more coming there's, lot, there's lots more coming um, <clears throat> but yeah chainsaws chainsaws had a lot of um, had a lot of viewers um, join up over this last month as well we we're well over well not well over we we're at 319 subscribers so if you've seen a few of my videos I don't normally say this because I don't, I don't really give a crap actually, but <clears throat> if you've seen a few of my videos, you like them, um, probably hit that subscribe button and uh, you can get more more of that good still soreness going in. Um, yeah. Oh, there was a guy, oh, what was his name? I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name, but he was talking about how um, I shouldn't put lithium grease in my bearings. Um, when I build the saw and everything like that and I said um, Why it just melts away. It should be fine Interested to hear your thoughts, you know, and he came back to me and said well when you fire up your saw and all that lithium grease actually goes up into the um, Up into the um, top chamber where it combusts it actually just builds up a bag load of carbon and um, Just causes carbon to build up in your saw and I, was, I thought about it and I was like, wow, he's actually right. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to do that anymore. He said, just use normal two-stroke. And I, I was just like so appreciative of, of those that comment, that feedback, because I'm still learning. This is a journey. I'm, I'm learning how to build saws and work on saws and stuff like that. I try to give you as much information as I have learned. Sometimes I get it wrong. Uh, but... Yeah, I appreciate um, appreciate people like that um, putting their hand up and saying, uh, uh, actually, this this could be better. Uh, and I was just like, wow, yeah, I can do that differently. Awesome, thank you, thank you. So I'll try to mention you 
find your name and mention in the next video maybe but um, I was just really stoked with that tip it was really constructive and he wasn't being a dick about it um, and uh, that's what I appreciated as well and and it, that allowed me to have a conversation with him and say hey uh, yeah okay what what do you mean oh yeah that's cool I, I, I understand that you know and it's I think it's gonna work out something really good for me going forward and for you guys as well because you you get to pick up that information as I as I learn as I grow as I progress so that's really cool so yeah um, that's my 15 minute rant catch up uh, standing in front of a, a man cool still banner um, and uh, yeah loving it loving life doing, doing, doing cool things it's cool things I come home from busy work in the city and uh, I come out here and I, I walk walk my property um, I've just planted three London planes down the bottom of the property actually I've got five more five more to put in and I'm gonna go do that after this I've got to do the dishes first otherwise I'll be in trouble with the wife so I gotta do the dishes but then I'll go and try and plant those trees out and um, then I'll do oh, then I'll cook some dinner because um, I I cook dinner on the weekends, wife does it all week, so she needs a break, but um, yeah, so I'm um, going to go plant those out, but I love London planes, I don't know if you like London plane trees, but I love them, they're my favourite tree, and um, and they're big avenue trees, they're massive, and, and in 50 years time they're going to be gigantic monster trees, which will be cool, I probably won't be around to see it, but you know, I'll, I'll get to see them in 15 years time at least when they're, when they're a decent height. And uh, yeah, so if the neighbor's goat doesn't stop breaking through the fence and flipping eating them, that's a big problem at the moment. But yeah, um, man, there's there's so much cool stuff to come, more content. I'll try and form, film more, but at the same time, um, I'll, I'll do it when I can. You know, I can't promise too much. can't promise too much because I've got this much time for everything that I do, work full time, this lifestyle block, I fix and maintain sores, um, I've got to spend time with my kids, my family, everything like that, so it's all, all of that is in the mix and to try and give quality to each of those areas divides my attention quite a lot. Yeah, but that's me. So thanks for watching, um, click that subscribe button if you want to see more. And, and more on the land and things like that are coming up some more diverse stuff rather than just fixing saws because there's enough of that information on my on my channel now there's enough of that information but I still will finish off the 460 build um, and I'll finish off the um, the 261 build as well so all that will get finished off okay that's all that's all gonna happen it's just finding those sweet spots those those moments in time where I can pluck out and and um, get into a build do that I'm not in that headspace at the moment I'm, I'm not 100% set up for it um, I'm getting there so maybe in a few more weeks maybe or in another month um, but yeah so I'll let you I'll let you in on the shed progress when we start we start doing that that'll be cool that'll be cool I'll film that um, yeah anyway I'm out um, good talking and we will see you on the next one, whenever that is. And uh, still for life. See you.